So it really does feel like recently I've struggled to get onto the bank uh, working. I've been kind of all around the country as lockdown has eased just to see some friends that I've not seen for a while. So getting down fishing has, has not really been on my list. Um, I got out for a couple of hours just to scope a spot a couple of days ago. Um, had a couple of fish, so I'll show you a few of those now. Oh, there's a better one out the back of it. Oh, go on. Oh, <laughs> I told you there was a better one out the back of it. didn't. Go on, there you go. I know, I thought there was a better one behind it. There's bound to be some better ones out there. Yeah, it's quite a nice little small one, this one. It's got his fin straight up. Hang on, I've got to get this out. Hang on, let me just get this out. This is a bit close to him. There we go. There you go. Real tiny little thing. Definitely a bigger one behind that, though. Yeah, it followed it. Yeah. Sometimes what you'll have is, it happens quite often when you're perch fishing with pike. You'll catch a perch. Uh, no, I should be able to swing this one. That's a better one. Look at that. Good. And he's <laughs> swallowed the swallowed the lure. Yeah. The guy that we just spoke to went. Oh. <laughs> and I watched him do it. He makes me want to punch the lights in. There you go. There you go. That's better. What's that? Better perch. Um, I should be able to... Look, look at all the perch following it. Yeah. I should be able to just swing him in. Kill cool, boy. There you go, that is a much better perch. There you go. Just cast it up against that far wall. Back of someone's garden, really. And that shad just in his mouth. Good perch. And that is using the exact same methods that I'm going to use today. So I'm down on the Basingstoke Canal. I've got my lure rod. I'm going to go after some perch and try and scout down one of these sort of big perch in the canal uh, using some methods that I'm confident in. Uh, matching my methods to the situation as well. We've got quite good clarity, not too much boat traffic. Um, the weed has grown a fair bit as there's not been that boat traffic through the lockdowns. So I'm going in with weedless, weightless lures, uh, little flukes, little frogs, uh, mainly a champagne fry from FFS. It's quite natural in pattern, it's quite minnowy. Um, had some success on it in the past, so we're gonna fish that today fishing weightless because certain parts of this canal are quite shallow and it means that I can fish that lure very slowly and just keep flicking it up and over the surface. So we'll get on. It's quite windy, very overcast, a little bit of drizzle in the air as well. So good, good conditions. And we've got the best part of an afternoon. So we'll crack on, got my new Rapala hat. Let's see if that can be my new lucky hat. There you go. Just twitching that lure. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the typical way to start, isn't it? Let's get it back out there. He might still come back. Definitely hooked. Maybe just not. 
cooked enough on that point. But there you go. Just a little one. But that is how they usually take that look. Good hook set. Lovely orange fins on that one. Try and get him up there. There you go. Lovely little one. I'll get him back. No need to have him out for too long. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's caught around that bit of wave now, have you? No, what kind of fish is that? That is a little pike. Oh, they grow into big, don't they? You they mean? do, Everything. yeah, yeah, near enough. Do you so. just put them out of their misery and kill them? Or what? No, 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 oh. we catch them, take a picture and put them back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh. so I'll... He's not moving, him up. is he? Well, it's because he's caught up in a bit of weed oh, just there, is, so um, do you he'll sit there. Him one clawed black things, um, what do they call them? Move that away, I'll sort that out afterwards. But, a lovely little micro pike, which to be honest, I do quite like catching. I like catching the big ones, I like catching the small ones. Lovely colours on it, won't get it out for too long. I don't really like catching pike in the summer. But today is a bit of a cooler day, so I'm not too worried. There we go, we'll get him back. Just gonna try and fish it over these weed beds that have grown up. Just skipping it over the top of them. An attempt at any fish that might just be sat in there. All those little tiny little micro pike just appeared. That'd be even smaller than the one that I just caught. Let's pick it that way. And let him go about his day. I'm after the perch. Say something like that. Oh. Something tap tapped and then came again. You could see the little wake behind it. That hook's fine. Let's get it back there. That's a perch. That is a perch and a half. Get in my net. Oh my lord. 
first cast when I just dropped into this spot, flicked it down towards a little bridge, a couple of twitches, saw a perch come right behind it. Wow, wow, wow. That is a lovely, lovely fish. Alright, let's leave him in the net, sort out the videos. caught on that champagne fry you'd have seen it a couple of twitches slam there he was um, I think it's a definite PB let's get him out lucky hat work Definitely a PB. I'll let him rest for a bit, give him away, and uh, carry on fishing. I've got another half an hour. Doubt I'll be able to top this. So it's New Year's Day, what better way to get out and start the year off than a bit of fishing. Got the time uh, down on the canal, so it's busy. Everyone trying to walk off their hangover. But we're here, got lures after some perch. Um, it's a stretch that I have fished, but more for pike when I was with my brother maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, for perch, not really. So it'll be interesting to see if there's much around. Bound to bump into a few other anglers on a, on a similar journey today. But it's been mild, so I'm going to go with how I was fishing in the summer. So start off weightless, um, just flicking the lures, trying to use them as almost a bit of a jerk bait, just soft plastics. See how we go. Just using, again, a weightless shad. They brought the uh, water down on the canal. The levels dropped by about 15 centimetres to reduce the pressure on one of the locks that they need to do some work on in the next month it will eventually drop by 30 centimeters so you know a good, good couple of foot So just real fine taps on the rod tip, not moving it too much, just letting that shad sink and then just working it so the tail flaps really because we're trying to get it working slowly. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. It's a bit pale so it could have been a little pike. It wasn't fighting very pikey though. So yeah, the water level's down. Arguably might make it easier, harder, you, you decide. So just letting it sink and just little taps on the rod tip. That's, oh, he's gone again. I think that's a pike. Why well, I'm using a wire trace. And there's one in the area though. I can handle a pike on this rod. Not too much of a worry. So I've got a wire trace on, six pound titanium, really doesn't take too much out of the uh, finesse setup. There's definitely a pike in the area. And that's why I love fishing weightless, 
in still water because you can really make that shad hang in the water column. You can pause and it will just wince its way down. And little taps of the rod tip. Just get that tail moving. Pauses. Pauses are quite important. I find pauses more important when you're fishing for pike. Let's go down towards the bridge, give it a bit of a longer run up. I'm going to fish it quite slowly. Turn, turn, pause, flick, flick, turn. Keep in contact. Give it a good pause. Feels like I'm getting some interest, but it might just be tapping across things underwater you know typically canals there's bound to be some snags around so a little flick let it sink let it sink I'll try and fly a bit harder this time because that looks like a good perch. That looks like a clonker. Oh, boys! Hello, hello. Check that one out. Let's get him unhooked. Oh, there we go. He's even putting his fin up for us. I don't have to worry about it. I think it's a little bit bigger than the one that I caught kind of back in the summer. I might just give him a quick weigh because I didn't weigh the last one. I can rest him in the water. Just just see what he does weigh. What a lovely fish. fish's frame was quite similar to the one that I caught in summer but it was just over a pound which is quite surprising because that other one was um is it a pound and a half maybe just a bit more so his frame was quite large and like actually on my hand but in kind of body it wasn't that big but what a good way to start the year off still got about half an hour of light don't know if we'll top that don't know if we'll top that um I've been fishing for what an hour Less than that, half an hour. Probably an hour now that I've messed around with the fish and that, but good start to the year.